Hi, this is Chris Potter. On this video, I'm going to talk about breathing and about the brands I recommend. So breathing is something critical to flute players in general and bass flute in particular because we use so much more of it than the C flute players. So it's really important that we get in as much air as the body can possibly hold. We don't do this on a normal day-to-day -day basis, but we can access this if we think about yawning. So I'm going to give everyone uh, permission to yawn. So. Just think what you do when you yawn and how your whole torso expands, how your jaw drops, your mouth opens, your throat opens. All this wonderful, glorious air just comes inside. And that's what we have to remember when we're trying to breathe when we're playing the flute, to get in that much air. So this is something you can think about while you're standing in line at the grocery store, for example. How am I breathing when I yawn? What's moving? How am I doing that? And then we get to the flute. The first thing you can try is just long tones, single notes held out to see did I actually get more air in this time or not. So you turn on your metronome to 60, you're going to make yourself a little chart. You're going to write down, say, maybe four notes, and then you're going to write the days of the week across the top. And you're going to try each note at least two times. You're going to write down how many seconds you were able to hold each note. And over a two-week period, you should be able to see that there's going to be some improvement. So I'm going to start, I'm just going to play the note G here. Was about 29 seconds. Anything over 20 is pretty darn good. So that's one thing you want to do. And every day for two weeks, not every once in a while, every day for two weeks. If you're trying to learn a new habit, you have to keep repeating it over and over and over again. So the next step that you would want to take in your quest for better, uh, be able to hold notes longer, is to put this kind of breathing into your pieces. So pick a piece that you know that's very comfortable, that's not too long, and you're going to look at all the spots where you have your breaths marked, and you're going to put a fermata over that. And you're going to allow yourself all the time you need to get a really, really good breath. In order to learn how to do something correctly, we have to do it slowly so that we can think about it, so that we can get it right. Gradually, we will learn how to take that air in more quickly. So as an example, I'm going to play the Dvorak theme from the New World Symphony. So every breath, every breath, not just the first two or three, every breath is going to be a nice, big, wonderful, generous breath.
gradually have more and more difficult pieces and that's the way that you work this better breathing into what you do normally. But it really takes a lot of consistent thought and constant repetition of what it is that you want. Now I'm going to talk about the brands of flute that I recommend. And I've been going to the National Flute Association convention for many years, trying lots of different uh, basses and altos. And these are brands that have consistently been very good instruments and the stores I'm going to name four stores these stores have been very supportive of the low flutes community I mentioned four stores that carry these brands one of them is flute world which is at fluteworld.com carolyn nussbaums which is at fluteforyou.com flute specialists which is at flutespecialists.com and the flute pro shop which is at fluteproshop.com and I will have a page at the end of this video which will list the names of those companies and their websites so it'll be easier for you to write them down. I'm going to start by naming the brands that are the least expensive and go up to the most expensive and there are some other ones on my website altoflute.net that are still in the probationary phases that I'm not mentioning and also if you're interested in uh, getting some help with your tone projection you can contact me uh, at altoflute.net and we could have some Skype lessons if you might be interested. Anyway, here are the brands that I recommend. The first one is D Zhao. It's two words, D I Z H A O. And then Pearl, the Jupiter de Medici, Altus, and then Eva Kingma, which is only available from Eva Kingma. She's a Dutch maker and Cotato. Now all of these instruments have trill keys. You absolutely want to get an instrument with trill keys. We use trill keys for so much more than trilling on the bass flute. I will get to that in my video about alternate fingerings. So I'm hoping that I was able to give you a bunch of advice today and that you're able to go on with your bass flute playing and have a great time. Thank you very much.